Hi, this is Sweet June 2010. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing good. This video, I want to talk about. Um, um, I know my last video, I was talking about um, uh, being self employed and everything, and um, I said I was going to talk about college and everything. Um, I want to talk about, um, college and how sometimes college can be, um, it, it's a lot of good advantages to going to college. I love, I love going to school. I'm kind of a professional student and it's a lot of good, you know, uh, a good reasons to go to college, good advantages to go to college. And I know they always say, well, you need to go to college so you can get a decent paying job and all this kind of stuff. But what I want to talk about is some of the uh, some of the uh, the cons and um, some of the things to be aware of, um, particularly for teenagers, you know, um, growing into that transition transition or where uh, they're getting ready to uh, apply for colleges and consider going to college. I want to talk about some of the things to be aware of. You know, some of the things that you need to be aware of when you do go to college. Um, some of the things that I found out and I realized. Um, I'll talk about a little bit. Uh, well, you know, I I went to college like when I graduated from high school. I went to college for a short period of time, and then um, I stopped because I had my son and everything. And I stopped for a while, and then um, I went back to college after my son was, well, I went to vocational school for uh, for a while, for a little while. I got a certification from there, and then I was out a little bit, and then I finally, when my son, my youngest son was two years old, I decided that I wanted to go back and finish. Uh, so... Um, I started going to school. Excuse me. I got to <laughs> plug up my computer. Anyway. I started going to school. And uh, he was two years old. And um, I kind of had to start over because it had been so long since I've been in school. To make a long story short. Uh, I was working and I was going to school, you know, being a single mom and everything. And at first, I just went with the Pell Grants. I had already had uh, two loans, you know, small loans that I had taken out that I had begun the paying process on. Um, so I did pay some of the money off of the other loans. And, um, you know, I was going to community college. And so I was just... Um, it was cheap enough to where I could just use the Pell Grants, so I just used the Pell Grants for a while until um, I transferred to the four-year college. I got my associate from there, and I transferred to the four-year college, and that's when I started taking out more loans. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to be able to graduate, get a great-paying job, and then I'll be able to pay these loans off. Uh, most like my Pell Grant covered mostly my expenses, but there I think there was a small percentage of my expenses that wasn't covered. So the loans took care of that. After that, I had a, quite a bit of extra money left. So you know I needed to you know um, be struggling.